Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Guns for Hire from You Always Win, and I've got another Black Ops 2 Search and Destroy Tactics video on drone here. We're going to start off using the shock charge on the back door there in a nice secure area so it's not easily shot at, and then the Claymore securing this. That way, you've got at least B on lockdown. Now, remember, I can do uh, defense on A, but for now, I'm showing you what I typically do uh, when I play this game here. What those are used for, as I've said in other videos, not necessarily to kill, especially, well, obviously not the shock charge, but it's going to let me know uh, right there. So it, as soon as I see that go off, I know to return actually back here. I'm going to actually eat it. That guy there, if you saw him around the corner, he drops. I have no defense against drop shotters. No, no, none at all. Around, I just skipped to the end there. But you're going to see me do the same thing. Now, what happened was, in that round, the Claymore didn't kill. Now, I don't always need Claymores to kill, but they are a lethal uh, equipment. So you ideally want them to kill. The placement and the angle that I had them at, I figured, you know what? Maybe the angle is wrong. It was angled too far out. Someone tripped it, but didn't actually get killed by it. So you're going to see me alter the angle, making it a little bit more forward instead of outward like i mean instead of this wall here there you're gonna see me place it in there because i figure you know what they tripped it but there wasn't enough blast radius concentrated blast radius to kill them so now i'm gonna place that in there still moving up through the middle now remember this doesn't always work it's just something that i do there you go and now the claimer actually uh kills a person now i've got the shock charge on the back but the problem is this area here is now open and knowing knowing that they pushed the last time the team they pushed in that general area there's at least two there i get lucky with that guy if he wasn't looking at the guy at the top he probably would have quick scoped me and then i would have said you dirty dirty dog so we're going forward bombs planted obviously i want to be cautious here i don't want to just rush in take the outside now before i go down there obviously there's still another person alive so rather than rush in there and get killed i search down here and look oh I, you silly little silly little silly and then we, of course, have our teammate defusing round over. We're going to go into the third one. I'm going to repeat the same thing again. I like securing, um, is it B? I think it's B. I don't know, whatever. That bomb target's in the, in, the, in the tunnel system there. Remember, you don't always have to use, um, you know, shock charges or, or claymores or beddies to actually get kills. You use them as markers so that you know if you're in a clutch situation, if your teammates start getting you know, ramrodded. This also allows me, if they don't go off, that I can actually push forward and actually go to A. So, because I can leave it without even having to worry about uh, another teammate being near B, because no matter what, they're going to either have to shoot it or whatever, but it's going to give me a signal I'll know to head over there. I'm not rushing down right now because there's three enemy players around the corner. I know some of you are like, oh, just go around their easy kills, but it's also a heightened risk of getting killed myself. If I'm facing three people... You know, I'd rather wait for them to go through and get the, the easy kill here. Plus, he's not going to plant. You know, there was a, a one of my teammates in there. Now, of course, you know, they're pushing hard. The last time there was three people there, they're pushing hard. Get the radar. Now I've got information that can, can lead to the other side here. Obviously, I want to hug the wall. This is self-explanatory stuff. I don't have to go step by step, but okay. So this guy's going to die, obviously. Whoa, that was a close one. Too bad it wasn't. <laughs> Knifing doesn't work so well in this. All right, so we're going on the final round here. But what you saw in the first three rounds there is something I always do. And remember, if you're not playing with a team, doing something like that allows you to say, okay, you know what, I don't have to worry whether or not my teammates are actually good at the game. You use a shock charge, you use, you know, a Betty or a Claymore, steal it off down in that tunnel there, and it allows you to go and concentrate on A if you're not sure where the team goes. Typically, a team will always go to where they're comfortable with. And the same thing goes on defense. Most of them, if they rush if they rush B, they're going to think everyone's going to B. And that's where most of the players are going. This is basic thought mentality. So I want to push in there. I've got the bomb. Before I do, obviously launching this up here. I don't want to waste it. I put the, the, uh, the Guardian there to prevent people from coming in while I'm setting up my, my Claymores here. Now, as I'm going to push forward, I'm going to actually take the claim uh the the guardian or reposition it but I'm, oh there there's the uh the actual claymore now because this side is actually exposed i believe there's a guy up here i didn't i didn't see him no he might have been there i don't know if that was him shooting but i know that i can get flanked here so i still have my shock charge and again as simple um you know proximity 
I use it on the back here. I want to always protect my flank. You can't always rely on your teammates. I'm not saying that you shouldn't rely on your teammates, but you need to take precautions. So now I know if that thing goes off, if the shock charge goes off, someone's trying to flank. Now, obviously the Guardian. Guardian is brilliant because if I'm playing this, it, it buys us time. Plant the, the bomb in the actual field of the Guardian. It's either going to kill them if they try and defuse or force them to waste time and destroy the Guardian before they go in there. If they have a Black Cat or an EMP, that's fine. But I mean, as I said, these don't always work every single time. We get a disconnect here, so you're going to see me flip it right back there. But anyway, that's it. Hopefully those little tips there help you in drone for search and destroy. Man, I love this game. Don't forget to rate the video. More to come on You Always Win. Eater.